Hey guys, it's Amanda. So I'm going to do this makeup tutorial for you guys, and it's just a neutral eye with a pop of color. You can't see it very well right now because I'm filming on my MacBook, but for the video, it's on my camera, and it's good editing. It's just, I feel, this happened with my last one, I think, too, yeah. But something happened with my, um, when I was importing it, and it lost the files, so I don't have it. I'm filming on this right now, and I'll just have to show you the other steps that I used after because it only did the eyeshadow so um i'll tell you the stuff later because it you know it lost it but so here's the intro for the video i hope you guys enjoy it um this is what it looks like but you'll see better in the video and then i'll have to add in later with the video with the um eyesight so that's why it won't be good for like the cheeks and the lips and the mascara that is crazy. For my last makeup tutorial, the same exact thing happened. It just had the eyeshadow, not the mascara, or cheeks, or lips. Crazy, but, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this, and let's get started. As usual, prime with Urban Decay Primer Potion on the top and lower lash line. I'm using the BH Cosmetics color palette for this tutorial. So, what you're going to do is use that color right there and the color right there to combine on your lid for this beautiful, shimmery champagne color. I'm going to use that brown in the same row as those two colors and put it into my crease just to define it a little bit. Then I'm taking a brush from the Urban Decay Naked Palette and Fix Plus spraying it on it using that blue color and putting it underneath my lower lash line for that pop of color for spring. Then taking the first color in the whole palette on a highlighting brush and highlight my inner tear duct. So then I just applied mascara. I used the Voluminous Million Lashes from L'Oreal I think and I applied it to my top and bottom lashes it looked kind of funny without it on the bottom lashes so make sure you put it on your bottom lashes too um, and then for cheeks I decided to use a dream bouncy blush from Maybelline because this is a fun springy color and this is in candy coral which you can't read but it's called candy coral and it's just a corally color and if you haven't seen one of these, I know this was kind of big for a while because, I mean, it's a bouncy blush. Of course, it's going to be big, but it's not really that bouncy and it's not very pigmented. But So I still use some of it, and I just had it on my fingers, and I just went like that. And I put it on, but you couldn't see it very well because, I mean, it was not that pigmented. So I took my NARS blush in Orgasm, and it just looks like that it has a little bit of orangey, corally tint into it. And I just took this Ego Tools brush and I put it on top just to kind of lock in the cream and to make it a little bit more pigment. Then I applied a CoverGirl Nature Luxe Gloss Balm, yeah, and this is in Coral, no more Coral, and it just looks like that Coral color and it's really light and it has kind of like moisturizing in it so it's kind of like a chapstick and it just gives a little bit of coral so yeah that was it i'm sorry that this happened again i'll try my hardest next time for it not to happen but yeah i'm pre-filming and editing this so on thursday it will i mean on tuesday it will be uploaded so yeah that is the look um i hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching bye